more babies are stillborn in the United States than babies who die from prematurity and SIDS combined. Um, that's significant to us because the, the resources that are put towards prematurity and SIDS are vastly greater than what's been put towards stillbirth historically. And I'm encouraged by that because we've seen prematurity survival um, skyrocket. We've seen SIDS um, deaths plummet over the last couple of decades and I firmly believe that a lot of that is because of the resources and the energy that we've put towards um, those conditions and so I wish and, and I hope that if we can get to where we can put that kind of, of energy and, and time and resource towards stillbirth we could do something similar. I think the medical professionals tended to downplay a lot of it because they're taught in, in their training that these aren't um, very common occurrences. I think they are taught that these things just happen and so why worry about things that you can't control or that you can't fix. I think a lot of it comes from our desire to not scare pregnant women. We go out of our way to, to encourage women to have these blissful, happy, innocent um, pregnancies